Hey guys, today I have something new for you and it's the tutorial for the auto envy refilling station that I made together with Cass. Now, if you haven't seen what it does yet, I recommend to to watch the showcase video, but if you haven't seen, also I can showcase it right now. So every time an envy breaks, the system is going to refill it by itself, so you don't have to press anything, you just have to wait the envy to break. <laughs> and also when the envy, when the system starts to run out of envy, it's going to turn on this this lamp right here so you know that you have to put more envils into the system and you can do that by just opening this trapdoor and putting the envils right here in the in the floor by hand and in the next time the envil breaks it's going to turn off the lamp so you don't have to worry about it anymore but yeah i think that's it for the system we actually made two systems but i also i'm only going to make a store for the second one the most fancy one because yeah it's the most fancy one so now let's just go with the store so we're going to start you're going to start out where you want the envelope to be so let's say that you want it to be right here and you're going to go out four blocks and put three stick pistons just like that facing towards the block and put a normal piston over here and a stick piston facing down with a redstone block now when the system is powered the redstone block is going to be over here so you're going to put a stick piston sorry um <laughs> you're going to put a repeater on three ticks over here that is going to power on redstone dust and it's going to power on block and also going to but power on stick piston over here now on top of it you can put three slime blocks and a block of redstone and this block of redstone is a, is actually not going to power anything but is also is only going to redirect the redstone now this redstone over here is all is going to be always powered and you have to put it on top of a uh, um, hopper so it is um it is a non-movable block, but it's also a um, transparent block, and it's going to be powered by something like a torch or a lever or something like that. Now, when this when this stick piston gets powered, it's going to redirect the redstone, and we are going to use this to make a boat. But I'm going to show it later. Now, to update this piston over here, what you're going to do is put a stick piston and put a redstone block. But as you can see, it's going to extend these when this piston extends it's going to push this it's going to pull this repeater sorry this stick piston and we don't want that so you're going to put a non-movable block uh, over here now this can be anything like a foreign sounds obsidian or something like that but i'm just using the note blocks over here because it's easier to to use it so yeah you can also replace the redstone block for here and also this redstone block that is going to be over here when the when the system is powered is also going to power a line over here so you can use it to power these pistons right here so as you can see when you give it when you give this line a um, pulse it's going to do just like that and as you can see these pistons over here aren't getting powered from anywhere so when you update them it's going to do just like that so and to reset it, just have to give it another post. And we we are going to do that later, but now let's just continue on with the system. So right here, you can put another non-movable block and redstone dust on top of it. A redstone torch that is going to go down into two non-movable blocks and two redstone dust. So, and over here, you're going to put a repeater on two ticks that is going to power a stick piston and four slime blocks like that, like this now this is going to make the anvil go up but you're going to do that later so right now i'm going to use this this piece of redstone to power uh two torches and right here you're going to make a staircase with two redstone dust and you're going to put normal pistons just like that now now as you can see when the torch right here turns on is going to give these pistons some small pulse and also these it's going to extend these slime blocks over here just like that and we're going to use it to make the envies go up but that's later <laughs> so now continue on going to put um dropper over here and um a dropper and a hopper so it's a monostable circuit and it's going to be powered when the the these torches give on small pulse now over here going to put a repeat on three ticks and inside of the dropper going to put any item 
and it's going to actually reset the system so as you can see when you update it it's going to reset, reset it by itself just like that now the system is almost done it's actually already working but we also have to make the lamp that is going to not let you know when the system runs out of enters and we are going to do that by putting a stick piece over here with a slime with a redstone block and it's going to power the stick piece on with with two slime blocks a um, normal block and over here a non-movable non-movable block with um redstone dust um, leave over here powering it and actually that's it <laughs> and when there's no when there's almost no anvils in the system just like now it's going to power the slump over here so you can know that the, the system needs more anvils now you can put your floor if you want to just like that ah, like this and it's going to update the system but don't worry about that and over here I recommend you to put on on solid blocks just so you can put on lever to update this piston because right now it doesn't ha it doesn't have any anvils and you need to to update it manually so you can put the anvils right here you can put it on the on the floor if you want to but right here you have to man manually update the piston the system so it can have the first anvil it's a little bit buggy but as you can see it's working just fine and the next time an infill breaks it's going to work just fine just like that and as you can see when the system starts to run out of anvils it's going to turn on this lamp over here so you have to put more anvils into the system but apart from that i think that's basically it so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time